Right everyone, day 8 of Eritmas, hope you all doing well, but anyways in this video I'm gonna show how to make this watermark text and I'm gonna show the two variations that you're seeing on screen. Now for this you'll need no plugins and just Vegas Pro, so let's begin with the tutorial. Right here I'm in Vegas, here's the video, I'm gonna make a new video track above my video, I'm gonna go to media generator and gonna click on titles and text to you know create a text. So I'm gonna drag in the default one and then here you can name it you know whatever you want. So I'm gonna put at EOS Pixie, I'm gonna highlight it, change the font to something like Arial because it looks nicer and then click on this B to make it thicker like that. So then you can resize it and put it wherever you want. I'm gonna keep it in the middle, cause you know, why not? And then I'm just gonna resize it like that. And then you wanna click on this button that's on the track. But if you don't have this button, click on these three lines, click on Earth Visible Button Set and make sure the composting mode is checked. Then you'll have this button. So you want to click on this button, you want to click on Dodge and that's where you're gonna get your text. So before you do anything, make sure your opacity is lower. Cause if it's all the way up, you know, you're not gonna see it, so make it a little lower. And as you can see, the text will start to burn in the video like that. And yeah, that's the first variation. You know, we can make it lower or higher. It looks clean and simple as that. Now, let's say, for example, you wanted to add drop shadow. Well, you wouldn't just add drop shadow, it wouldn't work. What you would do instead is to go on the track that has the text, click on these three lines, click on track motion, and then make sure you're on the first frame. Of the video enable drop shadow or 2d shadow then where you see blur percentage you put that to zero because it looks better when you know there's no blur on the shadow then the x and y so x you put it to two y you can put it to minus two and as you can see you will have the sort of drop shadow text now if you can of course mess with the x and y positions however you want so you can put this to 10 you know you can do whatever you want but 2 and minus 2 looks the best and that's how you make the drop shadow watermark but yeah guys that's how you make the two variations of watermark text uh, i hope you like this video i hope you learned something new and as always i'll see you in the next one goodbye